shit. Hey, not gonna lie, bro. I think I'm gonna have to take back everything I said on Shakur Stevenson. Like, after this past Thursday's fight, like, I honestly have no words. Like, I, I don't know what to say. I was planning on dropping a video the day before the fight and just basically talking about how good the fight was gonna be. Thank God I did not drop that video, bro. Because I, I was gonna take back everything I said. What did we just watch? Shakur Stevenson literally just put all his fans, all his family, everyone that came out to support him, and the people that watched that whole straight to sleep. Like, that was such a terrible performance. And I think he just won the worst fight of the year award. Like, I don't even know if that's a thing, but if it is, bro, he just definitely won it. We had people like Devin Haney saying, should have offered this bump 10%. I was being too generous. Ryan Garcia also tweeted out, everyone is talking about how Edwin's not landing, but unless I'm blind, I don't see Shakur landing or throwing anything. He's just stalling. You know, it's bad when these fighters are breaking records that are not even good. Mike Coppinger tweeted out saying, neither of the fighters landed double digit punches in any of the 12 rounds. De Los Santos also made history and copy box 38 years. A fighter has never landed fewer punches than Edwin De Los Santos. 40 over 12 rounds in just a fight. De Los Santos connected 14 power shots. Shakur Stevenson landed 19 power punches and only 44 jabs. Come on now, dawg. After the fight was over, Shakur Stevenson literally had to come out and apologize to the people that showed up to the fight. People like Floyd Mayweather, Andre Ward, and Terrence Crawford. Because the fight was just that bad. And like we said, this is a fight. There's two people involved and Edwin De Los Santos also takes the blame for this fight being so terrible. Edwin De Los Santos just spent most of the time chasing down Shakur Stevenson. They didn't try to cut off the ring. They didn't try to do anything. These two just stood in the middle of the ring and looked at each other. And maybe pawed at each other maybe a couple times each round. And this fight was literally like the Nakatilla fight from like 2021. Shakur Stevenson and there was a lot of movement from him you could tell that after the first round Shakur Stevenson had the respect for Edwin De Los Santos that he did not have against Oscar Valdez Yoshino and Consensao guys who he would literally walk towards them and stand there in front of them and trade punches but with De Los Santos De Los Santos could have taken like two steps forward Shakur would already be on the other side of the ring now there are some reports coming out that Shakur Stevenson may have been injured prior to the fight and with these fighters only fighting like once or twice a year if I'm Shakur Stevenson I'm not trying to have a gap between this fight and my next fight because for the next six or seven months this is everything everyone's going to be talking about how Shakur Stevenson put out the most boring fight of the year How Shakur Stevenson put everyone to sleep How Shakur Stevenson quote unquote ran or moved a lot And getting booed for all 12 rounds is not a good thing These boxers gotta learn that at the end of the day this is a show You know people are coming there to you know see some action They are paying their hard earned money to come see you fight And give them some entertainment But if you're not doing that you know why would they come the next time Why would they show up Why would they buy your pay-per-views Why would they buy anything that has to do with you If all they're gonna remember is that you put them to sleep And made them waste their money It is what it is.